session in July. Thank you. Next, Mrs. Gomez, please. Marietta Saka report is truly important, and it's in this context that I'd like to raise the situation in Ethiopia, where there are hundreds of journalists in jail among thousands of political prisoners. President Barroso was recently in Ethiopia. What did he do? Did he press for their release? Why don't we know anything about that? Why don't we hear the EU about the horrific crimes on the, in the Ogaden committed by the Ethiopian military and paramilitary against civilian population, about which I I have sent a report to you, Commissioner Peebles. And in Angola, uh, where we have a joint forward agreement with, which is supposed to bring to the table the, um, the civil society, namely the people who are defending human rights and who are fighting against corruption. Do you know that journalist Rafael Marquez has been brought criminal charges by the Angolan government for publishing the book uh, Diamond's Blood about the horrific crimes against the people in the Lunda's area, the Diamond area? Why why is the EU silent? This is very relevant in the context of our debate today, and I want to hear the EU reply. Thank you. Corolla. Mrs. Corolla has a floor. Mr. Chairman, last year in this debate it was considered important that a neighborhood policy instrument would correspond better to the needs surfaced as a result of the Arab Spring.